happy Thursday, LMMS. Thanks for tuning into the show this morning. And like always, let's head over to Taylor with today's school news. Good morning. Today is day four, Thursday, December 10th, and these are your student announcements. Did your Schoology course switch around on you? Does it look like one of your courses has gone missing? Then be sure to click My Courses in the upper right corner when you are looking at your course menu. There you will see all of your courses and you can rearrange them so that the top 12 are always in the big picture menu. Ask any of your teachers for help if, they have any, if you have any questions. Hey LMS, what is your favorite Christmas or holiday movie? Check out your grade level Schoology course for a survey to let us know. The top vote getting movies will be revealed on BuzzTV next week. Enter your favorite movie and then stay tuned to see if yours was one of the favorites. Eighth grade band will rehearse ninth period today. Tomorrow is a day five and a fully remote day. Mark your calendar. Picture day and retakes will be Monday, January 25th from 1230 to 6 p.m. Stay tuned for more details. Please don't forget you still need to submit excuse notes within three school days. See our website for more information. That's all I have today. Now let's slide on over to Lindsay, who's going to give you a follow-up on the coronavirus vaccine in the UK. Good morning, everyone. It's Lindsay with World News. Yesterday, Taylor updated us on Margaret Keenan, the first person in the world to get an approved dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Today, I'm here to discuss how yesterday's rollout went or as people in the UK are calling it, the day for vaccination day. The majority of the Brits are excited and optimistic about the vaccine's progression. Although the rollout has been successful, it's been slow. Because the Pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at such cold temperatures, vaccine injections are only given at the hospital and are appointment only. Two hospital employees who received the vaccine had minor allergic reactions. They administered a common warning advising people with significant history of allergic reactions to not get the vaccine at this time. That's all for my world news, LMMS. Many Brits are now predicting that 2021 will be a positive year compared to the many hardships we faced in 2020 because of the recent vaccine approval. What do you guys think? Now let's roll on over to Issa so we can LOL at her weather news. <laughs> What's wacky LMMS is well coming in with the weather news. Sadly, the snow is all gone, but I hope it makes many more appearances this winter. The high today is at a melting point of 46 with a freezing cold of 28. I'm just joking, but the high is 46 and the low is all the way at 28. Why did the old man fall in the well? Because he couldn't see that well. LOL. Now hit the ball and over to Hannah with your sports for today. What's up, LMMS? It's Hannah with your sports update. On Tuesday, the Ravens versus the Cowboys played their game, which was rescheduled due to the COVID cases. The Ravens ended up beating the Cowboys 34-17. In college basketball, Illinois ended up winning against Duke. Creighton lost to Kansas 73-72. Iowa beat North Carolina 93-80. Syracuse lost to the Rutgers 79-69. And Seton Hall beat Wagner. 78 to 45. That's all the news I have for you today. Now over to CC with your entertainment. Hey LMS, CC here with your entertainment for today. Today I have for you the top 10 holiday songs to rock out to this Christmas. In number 10, we have My Favorite Things. In number 9, we have Sleigh Ride. In number eight, we have You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Number seven, we have Last Christmas. Number six is Frosty the Snowman. Number five is Blue Christmas. Number four is Silver Bells. Number three is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Number two is The Little Drummer Boy. And drum roll, please. In the number one spot is All I Want for Christmas is You. Were any of your favorites on this list, Alma the Mess? 
That's all I have for you today. Now let's slide on over to Hidden Places Part 2. What's up, LMMS? It's Lindsay, and we're back with Hidden Places at LMMS Part 2. Today, we're starting with the Buzz TV studio. All right, so now we're in the studio, and over here we have just some storage. And then we can walk over here, and you can see that we have a nice little closet with some interesting props, and then a little mirror over there. You are amazing. <laughs> and then over here is where we sit to film up the news and we have the teleprompter and the camera and the lights and then there are some mics over here and stuff and then around this way we have the big chalkboard and it has usually has a schedule on it and then over here is where they film weather when we're live so this is the tech area this is the switchboard where we control all of the mics and to turn them on and the volume of them then this change is what camera we're showing on the big screen. And then this is the computer where you see everything, where you see what it looks up there, and that's where you see what the microphones are on. This is the board with old messages from former Buzz TV people. And there's this cool little art thing. There's a Pokemon card. Random rules. We all know what's in the library, but do you know what's behind the library? Well, this is the hidden place behind the library. And here is the school psychologist's office. Fun fact, this used to be the Buzz TV studio, but it was too crammed, so we moved. And now over here is a nice chair. Over here is some amazing paper, which is nice to use. Hey, did you read the sign? You can't use it. Now we're in the Media Center storage room and along these walls are where all of your educational magazines and movies are. And then right here, Mrs. Yencho is making copies on the copier where all your tests are copied. And then if you come back here to the storage, and then we have some extra school supplies. Thanks for watching another great episode of Buzz TV. Remember, tomorrow is the last day of school until the weekend. See you tomorrow.